All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, give me five time, and I'm taking this opportunity to expand on something I talked about in the uh, Steve Spotlight portion at the beginning of the show, and this is the despicable lies told by this administration in the aftermath of the Benghazi attacks. Lies, lies, lies. We know from the report today uh, that uh, the State Department, the State Department officials in emails that we are privy to now because of this investigation, State Department employees couldn't believe that the narrative of the video, blaming the video, was actually being used. And apparently, that's what Hillary and Barack Obama were most concerned about, coming up with some kind of story about how to, don't make it look like there was a terrorist attack on our watch two months before an election. Uh, let's just, uh, you know, let's just go with the, the video. And that's what they did. So here's a, a whole bunch of things, and that was 2012, right before the presidential election. Obama couldn't have this on his plate, right? So here we go. Some have sought to justify this vicious behavior along with the protest that took place at our embassy in Cairo yesterday as a response to inflammatory material posted on the internet. We've seen rage and violence directed at American embassies over an awful internet video that we had nothing to do with. This woman looked the family members of the deceased when the coffins came home, looked them in the eye, according to all of them, and shook their hands and said, we're going to get the guy who made that video. She now denies that. And I promise you, because I know, these family members will be coming forward to campaign for Trump. They will be in videos. They will be on stage with Trump. The media might not put them on, but they will be speaking about Hillary the liar, okay? Hillary the liar. Oh, but she wasn't alone in lying. This is a fairly volatile situation, and it is in response not to United States policy, uh, not to, obviously, the administration, not to the American people. It is in response to a video, a film, uh, that uh, we have judged to be reprehensible and disgusting. This is in response to a video that is offensive uh, and uh, to Muslims. <laughs> they lie like they breathe. They weren't concerned with saving the people. They weren't concerned with the dead bodies. They were concerned with protecting their rear ends. They lied, they lied, they lied. A video. My butt, it was a video. And they knew it wasn't a video. More. Our current best assessment, uh, based on the information that we have at, at present, is that in fact what this began as was a spontaneous, not a premeditated, uh, response to what had transpired in Cairo. In Cairo, as you know, a few hours earlier, uh, there was a violent protest that was uh, undertaken in reaction to this uh, very offensive video that was disseminated. <laughs> she went on every Sunday show. She was the third choice to go on the Sunday shows by the administration, the third choice. And this is what the State Department emails really showed. When they watched her on the Sunday shows, they were like, what? What is she saying? Trey Gowdy said this was just total fiction. They just made this up. Made it up. Hillary Clinton emailed her daughter saying this was a terrorist attack emailed and told the Prime Minister of Egypt this was a terrorist attack. And all the while, she and the rest of them are telling us it was a video that did this. And the media couldn't care less. Do you care? More. What we do know is that uh, the natural uh, protests that uh, arose because of the outrage over the video uh, were used as an excuse by extremists uh, to see if they can also directly harm U.S. interests. Uh, or, well, we don't know yet. This man cannot open his mouth without lying. And I think, well, he caught it from Hillary because Hillary's been a habitual, compulsive, you know, congenital liar ever since she's been on the scene, which is a lot longer than him. So she must have given it to him, I guess. Wow. Wow, if this was George Bush and his administration, they'd be calling for impeachment. And then he goes to the United Nations, this liar, and does this. And that is what we saw play out in the last two weeks. There's a crude and disgusting video 
sparked outrage throughout the Muslim world. Now, I have made it clear that the United States government had nothing to do with this video. <laughs> yeah, and let's say, let's say it was the video. Let's just say it was the video. What kind of people murder, riot, rape, pillage over a video? Christians? Can't recall. Jews? Can't recall. You have your answer.